It was just a few minutes ago that President Obama spoke about the attacks at the White House. We are reminded in this time of tragedy that the bonds of liberté and égalité and fraternité uh, are not only values that the French people uh, care so deeply about, but they are values that we share. And those values are going to endure far beyond uh, any act of terrorism uh, or the hateful vision of those who perpetrated uh, the crimes this evening. Uh, we're going to do whatever it takes to work with the French people and with nations uh, around the world uh, to bring these uh, terrorists to justice. The president earlier this evening, Chip Reed, is at the White House. Chip? Scott, the president also called the attacks heartbreaking, and he said that he talked with President Hollande by coincidence earlier today because there's a G20 economic summit in Turkey. The president is scheduled to leave for that summit tomorrow. He did not say whether those plans are still on, and perhaps more importantly, in just over two weeks, President Obama is scheduled to go to Paris for a massive climate summit. Uh, that is uh, something that uh, it's still not clear whether that could possibly be postponed, but Scott, as you can imagine, with more than a hundred world leaders there, it will be a security nightmare. Chip Reed at the White House. Thank you, Chip. We spoke a little bit earlier this evening with Stephen Sanchez, who is a freelance journalist in Paris. Mr. Sanchez, uh, what did you see? What did you hear? Uh, well, I was about three blocks away from the soccer stadium uh, when I heard one or two uh, loud explosions. It may have been one, and it may have just been hearing an echo, but what sounded like two loud explosions, um, I was walking out of a restaurant. Um, and I was getting ready to walk back to my hotel when I heard the explosion. I started walking in the direction that I thought the uh, explosion had came from. I started walking that way when I saw um, just crowds of people trying to uh, run out of the stadium as the police were getting there. What else did you see in those moments after the explosion? Um, I saw uh, the president of France. As, uh, they were whisking him away. Uh, he was at the game and he got out within, I'd say, maybe a minute or two. What about the explosion? Uh, what did it sound like? Was it a pop or was it more of a thunderous kind of blast? Um, it sounded more of like a thunderous blast. Um, I, at first, I initially thought it may have been fireworks because I knew the friendly was going on tonight um, and I thought maybe the game had just finished. So I, when I looked up to the sky after I heard that um, loud bang, there were, there were no fireworks and that's when I knew it had to be something pretty serious. Freelance reporter Stephen Sanchez tonight. Thank you, Stephen.